Today's story is The Rooster Who Would Not Be Quiet by Karma Agra Didi. Once there was a village where the streets rang with song from morning till night. Dogs bayed, mothers crooned, engines hummed, fountains warbled, and everybody sang in the shower. Everyone and everything had a song to sing. This made the village of La Paz a very noisy place. It was hard to hear, it was hard to sleep, it was hard to think, and no one knew what to do. So they fired the mayor. Now they were a very noisy village without a mayor. So they led an election. Only Don Pepe promised peace and quiet. He won by a landslide. The next day, a very polite law appeared in the village square. No loud singing in public, poor favor. Things were getting better already. But more laws soon followed. No loud singing at home. No loud singing. No singing. Basta! Be quiet already. Until finally, the noisy village of La Paz was silent as a tomb. Even the tea kettles were afraid to whistle. Some people left the village singing loudly. Others stayed behind and learned to hum. The rest were just grateful to have a good night's sleep for crying out loud. Seven very quiet years passed. Then one evening, a saucy galito and his family wandered into the village and roosted in a fragrant mango tree. When the little rooster awoke the next morning, he did what roosters were born to do. He sang, As his rotten luck would have it, the mango tree beneath, grew beneath the cranky mare's window. Uh-oh. You there, growls Don Pepe. No singing, it's the law. Well, that's a silly law, said the merry galito. Smell this sweet mango tree. How can I keep from singing? <laughs> then I'll chop it down, that stinky tree, huffed Don Pepe. Will you sing then? The puppy Galito shrugged. I may sing a less cheerful song, but I will sing. And he did. Kikiriki! Still singing, snapped on Pepe. You have no tree, remember? I have no tree, said the Galito. But I have my hen and my chicks. How can I keep from singing? Will you sing if I throw you in a cage, alone, threatened Don Pepe? I may sing a lonelier song, said the stubborn Galito, but I will sing. And he did. Kikiriki! Why are you singing now, growled Don Pepe. You have no hen and chicks. No hen and chicks, the Galito sighed but I still have corn to eat. How can I keep from singing? And if you have no more corn, asked the mare. I may sing a hungrier song, said the headstrong Galito, but I will sing, and he did. Kikiriki! Aren't you hungry, you crazy bird? Well, Don Pepe. Of course, said the Galito, but if the sun can still shine despite the world's troubles, how can I keep from singing? And if you never see the sun again, snarled the mare, and he ran for a blanket to cover the rooster's cage. I may sing a darker song, said the brave rooster, but I will sing. And he did. Kikiriki! As the Galito song echoed down the soundless streets of La Paz, it stirred an old familiar longing for a time when everyone and everything had a song to sing. But not so with Don Pepe. Singing gave him indigestion.
The next day, Don Pepe stumbled out of the yard in his nightshirt. He tore away the blanket and pleaded, You have no tree to roost in, no hen and chicks to comfort you, no grain to fill your belly, no sun to drive away the saddles. Why, oh why are you singing? Promise to stop and I will set you free. One by one, a quiet crowd began to gather in Don Pepe's yard. I sing for those who dare not to sing, or who have forgotten how, said the galito. If I must sing for them as well, senor, how can I keep from singing? And if you, if I have you made into soup, the mare thundered, I suppose you will still sing if you are dead. The entire village held its breath, waiting for the galito's reply. Dead roosters sing no songs, he said. Ha! crowed Don Pepe, and he was sure that he had won. But a song is louder than one noisy rooster and stronger than one bully of a mare, said a galito. It will never die as long as there's somebody else to sing it. And there was... And once again, there was a village where the streets rang with song from morning till night. And this made a very noisy place to live, but that's just the way everyone liked it. The end.